Welcome to this demonstration video of Comscope's pre-terminated NG4 cable module assembly. This innovative solution is ideally suited for Verizon One Fiber projects where large fiber cable counts must be pulled into a CRAN hub and terminated into an existing relay rack. The particular video showcases the installation of an 800 foot, 432 fiber pre-terminated cable assembly being pulled into and installed in a CRAN hub. It's important to note that these cable assemblies are available from Comscope in lengths ranging from 200 feet up to 1,000 feet, and that an 864 fiber version of this assembly will become commercially available in the second quarter 2018. Prior to shipping, each cable assembly is packed individually by Comscope and placed onto a rotating pallet as depicted here. When the customer delivers the pallet to the job site, in this case a CRAN hub co-located at an existing macro cell site, the pallet should be strategically placed in direct alignment with the CRAN's entrance door as shown here. Positioning the pallet as such will make it easier for the contractor to pull the cable off the pallet and directly into the CRAN. Once the pallet has been placed on the ground, the next step is to begin unpackaging the bottom section of the assembly as demonstrated here. By doing so, the 432 fiber cable becomes visible. It is advised that once the packaging material has been removed from the cable, a visual inspection of the cable is always a good idea just to ensure the cable was not inadvertently damaged during transport. Once the cable inspection has been completed, Next step is to remove the screw from each corner of the pallet. These screws lock the rotating pallet in place during shipping. By removing the four screws, the pallet will now be free to rotate as the contractor pulls the cable off the reel. With the pallet properly positioned and the cable portion unpacked, the technician can now begin pulling the cable off the pallet and into the CRAN hub as demonstrated here. Notice how the pallet rotates, almost like a lazy Susan. This creative packing design greatly simplifies placement of the cable and speeds up the installation process. Gone are the days of contractors having to deal with the cumbersome process of setting up a cable reel stand, lifting a heavy cable reel up on its side, and up onto the stand in order to pull the cable. As with most higher count cable installations, it's common to have a second technician assist with placing the cable to help guide it through the conduit. This allows the installation to go more smoothly as the cable is being pulled into the CRAN hub and guided into the entrance conduit. Installation of this solution differs from site to site as not all CRAN hub locations are the same. As an example, in this case, the entrance conduit is located near the floor, while for other CRAN hub sites, sometimes the conduit is placed up high near the ceiling. Furthermore, some CRAN hub sites, such as this one depicted here, uses a cable pull box mounted to the exterior wall of the CRAN hub. However, not all sites do. In the event a cable pull box is present, it is helpful to have a technician positioned outside so that as the cable exits the CRAN hub and enters into the pull box, that technician can help guide the cable as it makes its bend down and into the conduit infrastructure. Placement of the cable continues as it's pulled through the remaining conduit out to the handhole or manhole located at or near the right of way. It is at this location where the cable is spliced into the primary outside plant cable sheaths for both front haul and back haul applications. Once the cable has been completely pulled off the reel, the contractor can begin unpackaging the cable modules, oftentimes referred to as CMODs. By simply loosening the four wing nuts from the top of the pallet, 
The top cover can be removed to access the package C-Mods. The C-Mod packaging is designed so that it can be easily removed from the pallet and brought over to an area where unpackaging of the individual C-Mod bundles can begin. Once the entire cable assembly, cable and C-Mods, have been removed from the pallet, the portion of the assembly that remains inside the C-RAN hub can now be placed on top of the ladder racking. As illustrated in these still photos, this can be done one of two ways, depending upon where the entrance conduit is positioned on the wall. For C-RAN hub sites where the entrance conduit is placed up high near the ceiling, the cable assembly is more easily transitioned from the conduit onto the ladder racking, as illustrated in these still photos. Notice again how the cable assembly is routed along the ladder racking from the conduit over to the relay rack where the fiber panels will be installed. For cases where the conduit is located near the floor, the remaining portion of the cable assembly is placed on top of the ladder racking and routed over to the fiber panel relay rack. Once the cable has been routed, it can now be safely secured to the wall and tied down to the ladder racking. Although not a requirement for this installation, Comscope recommends securing two bend radius attachments to the ladder racking as illustrated here. These steel attachments provide the cable assemblies breakout cables with a smooth and sturdy arch surface to rest upon in a waterfall fashion. A bend radius attachment is recommended for the cables installed on the left side of the relay rack and a second bend radius attachment is recommended for the cables installed on the right side of the relay rack. With the bend radius attachment secured into place, the network technician can now move the cable assembly's breakout cables into position. Notice how the cable's fan-out assembly is strategically positioned so it rests directly on the top edge of the bend radius attachment. This allows the breakout cables to rest comfortably upon the bend radius attachment as soon as they exit the fan-out assembly. At this point of the installation, the remaining portion of the cable assembly can be secured to the ladder racking. Although not required, two-inch flex tube can be installed as an added level of protection for the breakout cables. If the customer chooses to install flex tube, it should be secured to the bend radius attachment as illustrated here. The flex tube can now be routed so that it water falls directly into and is secured to the vertical cable manager. Installation of the C-Mods can now begin. With a vacant NG4 access tray in the open position, begin by placing a C-Mod into the tray. Keep in mind, C-Mods are installed from the rear side of the NG4 chassis. Place the C-Mod into the tray and once aligned, press the C-Mod into place on each side and the rear until it snaps into place. With the C-Mod installed, 24 fibers have now been terminated into the NG4 chassis with no splicing involved. C-Mods are a plug-and-play solution that eliminate the cost and the time associated with having to perform splicing inside a C-RAN hub. This is a key benefit of Comscope's NG4 C-Mod solution that allows customers to turn up C-RAN hubs faster and at a lower labor cost. With the C-Mod installed, the network technician can now route the pre-terminated breakout cables into the tray's fiber management arm. Notice there are two 12-fiber breakout cables that are pre-terminated into the rear of each C-Mod for a total of 24 fibers. A soon to be released version of this cable assembly will utilize a single 24 fiber breakout cable 
per C mod. Continue to route the individual breakout cables through the fiber management arm and over to the vertical cable guide. Notice each tray is labeled alphabetically along with each slot on the vertical cable guide. Each tray has a corresponding slot on the vertical cable guide. Route the breakout cables from the tray to its corresponding slot on the vertical cable guide as demonstrated here. Route the breakout cables into the Relay Rack's vertical cable manager and position them in a drip loop fashion inside the vertical cable manager. Finally, close the access tray and repeat the process for the remaining NG4 access trays and CMOTs. To perform the entire installation that was demonstrated in this video, the required Comscope parts to order are as follows. First, the pre-terminated 432 fiber NG4 CMOD cable assembly. This indoor-outdoor rated ribbon fiber cable has an outside diameter of 0.9 inch and is available in lengths up to 1,000 feet. In early 2018, Comscope will release an 864 fiber rollable ribbon version of this cable with an outside diameter of 0.77 inch. Secondly, two vertical cable managers, preferably six inches wide by four inches deep, should be ordered. If not, then four inches by four inches will be suffice. One cable manager will be installed on the left side of the relay rack, while the other will be installed on the right side. Thirdly, three Comscope NG4 high density chassis will be required. Each chassis occupies four rack units of relay rack space and provides a capacity of 576 LC fiber terminations. Therefore, three NG4 chassis provide a total density of 1,728 fiber terminations. Lastly, as an option, a two rack unit horizontal cable trough can be installed below the chassis. This trough provides a crossover path in the event a network technician needs to run a cross connect from one side of the NG4 chassis to the opposite side. As future service orders and engineering work orders create the need for adds, moves, and changes within the CRAN hub, network technicians will find the installation of patch cords to be a very straightforward and simple process with the Comscope NG4 chassis. Begin by connecting the appropriate length fiber patch cord to the active network equipment in the CRAN hub, such as a Verizon Wireless baseband unit or a Verizon Wireline NG Pawn 2 optical line terminal. Route the patch cord through the optical raceway system, such as Comscope's fiber guide, over to the front side of the relay rack where the NG4 chassis are installed. Open the vertical cable manager and the front cover of the NG4 chassis. With the front cover opened, select the appropriate tray in the NG4 chassis and pull it open towards you. By doing so, the individual fiber ports, in this case LCs, on the front side of the CMOD present themselves to the network technician. Remove the dust cap from the appropriate fiber port and insert the fiber connector into the port and ensure the connector snaps into place to ensure a secure connection. Route the patch cord over to the tray's cable management arm. Feed the patch cord through the cable management arm and through the corresponding slot on the vertical cable guide. Close the access tray door. Finally, insert the patch cord into the vertical cable manager, ensuring a smooth drip loop is present at the bottom of the patch cord. Close the vertical cable manager and the front cover of the NG4 chassis. Thank you for your interest in this Comscope demonstration video.